Welcome to today's video. We're going to be talking about the best Clash of Clanners and the three phases of the Clash YouTube community that I see. And everyone has different skills, different skill sets, and uh, whether you like them or not, uh, they had an important role in Clash community and Clash gaming. And most of them, and some of them, have, have, have kind of sheared away from Clash, but that's a different story. We'll get into that later. And I go into kind of the uh, every YouTuber has unique skills and uh, kind of what happens when you try to bring that to the light. You know, timing is everything in life and certainly in the YouTube community as well. So there are three phases, three kind of separate phases in the Clash YouTube community. The first one, we've got Chief Pat, we got Galadon, and we have Clash with Cam. Now these are the big dogs. They first started uploading right kind of when the game came out and you can tell by their subscriber growth number and they did a lot of work. If you're a Clash of Clans player, you have seen one of their videos, hands down, guaranteed. They really, uh, you know, brought a lot of light to the game and did some good stuff. Even if you don't like them, it's whatever. They, they the impact was was beneficial toward to to everyone. Now the next phase we have is Power Bang, Clash with Ash, Clash Tutor. Wicked Gaming, General Tony, he's an anomaly, and Beaker's Lab, and Jake. Now they started about three years prior, actually a little bit, a little bit over three years in the Clash. Uh, so they were kind of the second phase. Uh, they were the second phase of the Clash face, Clash community, and each of them had their different roles. And it's important, you know. I, I think a lot of times people think I hate it. I hate on many YouTubers. I don't. I think the thing I, that I've done, I have, I have just spoken the truth that each YouTuber has specific skill sets. Let's just like in life, everyone has unique skills. You can't be great at everything. And I think that's, and I've always said, you know, watch the very best content um, from the, what they're best at, right? You, you want to watch the, if, if they're great at building bases, watch that person and learn how to build bases. That makes sense. And if they're great at doing this, do it for that. Uh, or if, they, if you want to be entertained and they're great at entertaining, then watch them for that, if that makes sense. So watch the best of the best. So uh, the, the one thing in there that is all those subscribers in the second phase, kind of, ha I mean, all those YouTubers in the second phase had the same sort of subscriber growth. All very were comparable. Wicked Gaming, General Tuner, Clash Tuner. You know, she stopped actually doing Clash a long time ago, actually. Uh, she would have had more, her growth, but she just kind of stopped uploading as often. Now, the only anomaly there is General Tony, because he had a brilliant idea of the troll base. That was pretty much his him, and he capitalized on it and made it popular. So his subscriber growth, even though he started with the second phase, jumped up to the first phase level, if that makes sense. So the third phase of the Clash kind of YouTube community was myself, Clash with Duke, Clash Bashing, Echo Through Me, Cleric Dragoon, Klaus Gaming. Uh, you could throw in maybe Clash, Clashing Floor from Steel. And there might be a couple others out there um, who, do, who, who do it, and I'm just forgetting their names. The guy who took over One Hive Gazette, or One Hive, I mean, for a little bit, doing those videos. I forget his name now. But all of us uh, were the third phase, and our subscriber growth is certainly not as high, except for those who focused on um, more farming techniques pushing, things like that. Uh, I think, uh, you know, when it comes to YouTube, the war content scene is just not watched. I, 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 it just isn't. I mean, you just look at the channels that focus on war uh, and subscriber growth, and that has nothing to say against players. Again, every, every YouTuber has their strengths, and I think it's important to realize your strengths and again, I have, it's so interesting people ask me, do you act not like these other YouTubers? Do you, you know, what's the deal? No, I like them just fine. I think you should watch again. Let me clarify, the best of the best, if that makes sense. Watch the best at what they do and learn from them. Uh, you know, I mean, everyone has, like General Tony, yeah, General Tony, he's great at what he did. If you love that type of content, watch that to pieces. And everyone has their specific. Clash Bashing did tons of trophy pushing videos. I never really trophy pushed. I tried to do a couple videos. It didn't. I just didn't get into it. Uh, so if you like that, tour, I mean, of course he does other things uh, as well. But you know, I, people like to watch uh, YouTubers at, at what they're good at, and, and he did great at that. And, and I could go down the list on every every each one. Uh, so to say this list, I know I'm just kind of just you just Halo. Who's the best of the best? Well, the best in their phases. Those are the names uh, right there. Those are the best, and everyone has their uh, the skill set that they bring to the table. 
So yeah, I think um, I think just when you kind of bring to people don't like truth a lot, right? People don't want might not want to be known as oh I'm the war guy or oh I'm the farm guy. Uh, but in reality, that's how it is. You look at their channel, you look at what they produce, look at their views, look at what their subscribers are wanting to watch. That's who they are, uh, and everyone has their unique skill set, and you should t you should own that. I own. I'm a war guy, and it's fine. I didn't never. I never got into farming videos. I, I made a couple here and there. Maybe I should have. Uh, you know, if I wanted to get more views, but. Or, you know, it, it, but it's not just that, it's timing too. Again, timing is everything in life, right? And uh, the third phase just didn't get the growth that obviously the first couple, two phases got because the game was on decline. And it already, you know, it was a five year, you know, the game was already uh, like three years in before I started making YouTube videos or two and a half years in, something like that. And so, yeah, just one of those things. Anyways, this is a cool video for you, I guess. Maybe it's cool. I don't know. But I just wanted to share my thoughts and just even thank, you know, uh, even thank the people in the two phases before me. Certainly Clash with Ash. I mean, he gave me the shout out years ago. And uh, it really boosted the channel. Um, you know, we had like 400 subscribers and it went up to like, uh, I got like 900, about 1,000 subscribers from him. And I know a lot of people came from Clash with Ash. And, you know, he's, of course, he's moved on, as most of the YouTubers, I already made that video, if you want to watch that, most YouTubers moved on, and the reasons why they moved on, uh, I listed it, and it will continue to be so. Uh, I think, um, you, you'll see people doing both videos, but eventually I think maybe people will stop doing Clash videos, I don't know, maybe not, maybe not, maybe I'm wrong, uh, at least people will do double, right, double videos, like myself, I, I'll add, I am going to keep doing Clash and adding other videos as well, but... You know, just all the people before. I mean, everyone did great work at what they did. And whether you like them or not, uh, that's it's fine. I mean, you can like people who you like and don't like people who you don't like. But you, every, everyone has their unique skills and brought something to the table. And I just wish Supercell would have uh, kind of helped out the third phase people more. Now, they focused on, actually, they kind of, I mean, the first two phases, I, th I thought they had some involvement. The last phase... A little, maybe less involvement, it seems, um, in the in the in the war community, not in the war community. Well, it's certainly in the war community, but in the YouTube community, it would have been nice to see some more um, help. F yeah, help from Supercell or just um, you know you know here check out these guys more. Uh, I think it would help their community as well grow. And but that's another story of why Clash is kind of declining now. I mean, it's still, of course, tons of people play it, and I made a whole video on it, so you can go watch that one. I'll link it in the description. Uh, reasons that they could they can still bring it back, right? They can still bring the the power back um, to the game. So yeah, I, I think I've rambled enough for you. So let me know who your favorite YouTuber is and why. Certainly, tell me why. You know, I like Clash Bashing because he trophy pushed. I like Klaus because he you know he he does amazing farming videos. It's true. I like uh, Clash of Two because he's awesome at the uh, war content scene. Or I miss Clash Tutor because she was so cool. Yeah, I mean, who doesn't miss Clash Tutor? Unfortunately, she just stopped uploading. No! Or I miss Clash... Honestly, I miss Clash with Ash, you, Clash of Clans videos. I do. Personally, I miss his videos. I know why he... I already talked about why he moved on. And it makes sense. You know, it, it's... I'm glad he moved on. He, he quadrupled... Almost quadrupled his subscriber base by switching games. And that is great for him, you know? That is great for him and smart at the same time. So, uh, you know, just because you miss something, everything has, a, has its season. Nothing is permanent. And, uh, you know, it's cool. Everyone's doing their own thing. Power Bang's doing amazing on PUBG now. Uh, and even if you don't like Power Bang, you got to admit, I mean, when he's... I, I, I called it. I called it for him. I may, be, may be watching. I don't even know if you're watching this or not. But, yeah, you're... you're PUBG is going to put you in the million subscriber land very, very soon. It's going to happen. You're going to see some huge growth. And you can notice he, he spots it himself, which is smart. Um, he, maybe he'll continue to do Clash videos. I don't know. Uh, but either way, you got to be smart in this game. And you have to get a little lucky. Everyone works hard. All these YouTubers work hard. And the luck is like timing. I would say timing um, and just some fortune. Um, as far as if you get the good timing in YouTube... You can really start to see some growth. So anyways, give love to your favorite YouTuber. One to make this and just clear things up. I don't dislike anybody. I think everyone has different unique skill sets. 
and you should watch those skill sets for those skill sets. That's the greatest sentence. Okay, that's a great sentence, Halo. So we're going to end it on that terrible sentence. And uh, thanks again for watching. And Supercell, um, I'm hoping for great things. If you're watching too, bring step up the game, and we can all bring Clash back to its glory days of amazingness. And Halo, out. Thank you.